God damn it. I thought I already learned that freaking trick. Still lost to this boomer. What did I do wrong? Yo, yo, what's up, my nick? Dude. Jeez, bro. It's still early in the morning. It was a joke. Anyways, did you beat that guy up? Hmm. What's wrong? He was too weak for you, huh? See, I told Chu. That trick is what my ancestor told. He freaked me hard in the ass. Oh, it's all right, mate. It's just a game. I'm sure he cannot surpass you that quick. Wish I had someone who was a pro in video games to teach me. By the way, did you hear that a boy from another school came here just to confess to Ryan? Really? Yeah, and he was the cutest guy in that school. Did Ryan accept him? Nope. But they did indeed exchange contacts. Huh. A boy this time, huh? Ryan is the hottest guy in school, so no wonder all the genders like him so much. And I like him too. But most of the people who confess to him are very famous. But he hasn't accepted anyone yet. Also, you said most of people, which mean not all. So why don't you try approaching him? Look at me. I have nothing to get his attention. I'm just a normal guy with normal looks who loves video games. Shh. Holly Molly. Dude, he's coming. Who? Ryan. <gasps> Oh my god, Ryan, you are so hot! I know, girl. Oh my god, he answered me! Haha, <laughs> cute. My god, he's so handsome. Wish he was mine. Dude, you okay? Y yeah I'm okay. You must be really into him, huh? Yeah. Ouch! Hey, what the hell? To make you wake the freak up. Wanna go see a movie tonight? Y yeah I'm good tonight. Alright, see you later then. My oh god, this guy is late as hell. Well, I guess he is definitely in the middle of a battle right now. Fifteen minutes later. What's up? <laughs> Ouch! Hey! What took you so long? Nothing. I was helping a kid. Stop lying. I'm not buying it. You were helping a kid leveling up, right? No! <laughs> Ouch! Okay, okay, you were right. That's what I thought. Okay, let's get inside. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Oh my god, dude, it was fire! Help, yeah, your, your phone linging! Your phone linging! Oh shoot! My mother is calling! I have to go home now, see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, yeah, no prob, dude. Guess I'm a walk alone today. Huh? Weird? I thought I heard someone. Oh well. The heck? I swear I heard someone walking behind me though. Was I dreaming? Never mind. Oh, it's Carson. Who? Ah! <coughs> I'm gonna kill you. Me, me. Come here, boy. Can't catch me. Look at this dude. <laughs> Ouch. 
Dude, you okay? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh shh. Is is that Ryan? Oh no. Why it has to be him? Are you okay, my guy? I'm I'm okay. Look at this dude. Are you hurt anywhere? Ah uh, no, I'm I'm not. Good. Be careful next time, okay? Oh, okay. So, can I know your name? Oh, I'm Nolan. I'm Ryan, and this is your... Ah, my best friend Carson. Thank God he's just a friend. What? Nothing. Anyways, good to know you, my guy. Y yeah, same here. I have to go now. My friends are calling me. So bye. Bye. Holy sh... Dude, he was so freaking hot! Did you see that? Yep, I know. Oh my god, can't believe I would have a chance to meet him this close. Yeah, yeah, good for you. He also smells so good. Ryan or main character of Dune? Ryan and... Timothy! Timothy! Dude, Timothy is fire as hell. Right? Oh man, that part where he rode the sandworm was really cool. He picked the actor over me. Unacceptable. Want to head to game shop? No need to ask, let's go! Freak! How did I lose to that stupid trick? <laughs> ten years too early, loser. Your phone linging! Your phone linging! My mom again? Sorry, dude. I have to go home now. See you tomorrow, then. Bye. Huh? Wait, what the? Footsteps again? Nah, nah, it must be the sounds in the game. There. See, there's no such thing as ghost or whatever. Shoot, I remember just turning off my game. Freak, run! Am I safe now? Finally! What the? Shh. I'm being stalked, right? I need to run. Ouch! Oh no, I'm totally lost. No, please stay away from me. You okay? Ryan? Can you stand up? Yeah. Here, grab my hand. What are you doing at this hour? I was hanging out with my friend. At this hour? Yeah. Where is he? He went home early today. Don't you think that it's a bit too dangerous for you to walk alone? Sounds like he's caring about me. Want me to walk you home? W what N no Y yes, please. Wow, I can't believe you know so many games, Nolan. You too. This is the first time I have known someone who has the same taste in games as I do. Really? I'm the first one you know. Yeah. We should play games with each other sometimes. Sounds great. Or maybe now. Really? Yeah, I'm free, so let's go. Awesome! Enjoy your stay. Wow, I like your room. Thanks. Now let's freaking kill this game. Two thousand years later. Oh god, it's already this late. You should go home now. Oh, it's fine, I can go home anytime I want. But it's late, and you'll be on your own on the way home. Nolan, I can take a taxi, you know. Then go home! Okay, okay, I got it. Yes! Best day ever! Oh my god, he's too cool. He's just my type. I'll never wash this hand anymore. 
God damn, I can't sleep. I'll make you mine, my sweet Nolan. Oh God, home, sweet home. I can finally lie in bed and rest. And have more time for my adorable son too. Oh wait, is he at school, Adeem? Nolan, you home. Already went to school, good boy. Wow, look at this one. I care the name of the flower, but I bet my mom would like it. Maybe I should take another one. Run for your life, run! Huh? Run from what? Oh! Come back here and let me eat your- P Please, stay away from me! You can't run away from me, baby. Can't run from me now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He almost catches up with me. I'm going to be eaten. But please something! Somebody, help me! Hey! No! No! no. True, it was just a dream! Wait a minute, this is not my house. What? Where am I? Ugh, I can't even move! Who, who, who tied me up like this? Wait, why does it look like I am being kidnapped? Am I going to be killed soon? Help! Someone! Mom! Carson, help! Ryan! Yes? Ryan! OMG, Ryan! You're here! Like a hero! Can you untie me, please? Why? Because I have... What? Ouch! What are you doing? No time for jokes, Ryan. What if it's not a joke? Huh? What are you even saying? I've been craving for you for so long, baby. Finally, I can have you all to myself. So, so it was you who... Who done all of this? If I didn't, you'd meet other attractive men. Wait, what are you saying? Now stick out your tongue and let me taste it. N no stop! Oh, come on, baby. You know you like me, right? I I don't even know what you're saying. You don't? So you mean you don't like... N no it not like that. I... I... I do like you. As a friend? Uh, yeah. <sighs> you just friend-zoned me. N no I'm not. I'd never do that. P please don't be sad. I, I... I do like you. A lot. I've had a crush on you ever since the first day I saw you. Really? Y yeah. Too cute. S stop what are you doing? Tasting you? Ah, uh, no my pant. Bon appetit. <laughs> it's already 9 p.m. and he hasn't came home yet. Is he at the game station again? Emma call him. <laughs> Carson? Yes, sweetie? Hi, Mrs. Bradley. Sorry for calling you this time, but is Nolan okay? Huh? Why are you asking me that? I thought he was with you. What? No. He didn't go to school today, so I thought maybe he was sick. What? I haven't seen him all day long. Do you know where he is? I don't, Mrs. I tried to call him, but no respond. Same here. Oh no, where could he be? He actually untied me. Ugh! My head! Ouch, my back too! I can't believe it. My first is now belonged to Ryan. He was so hot, oh my god. The way he kissed me, the- Ah! His lips were so soft. It's like a dream come true, but better. Emma, go tell Carson. Ugh! Need to go to the bathroom. Wait, why is it locked? Is Ryan in the bathroom right now? Ryan? Are you in there? No. Oh my lord, you're like a ghost, Ryan. Scared the heck out of me. Oh, he's sorry. You were shouting my name so loud that couldn't hear my footsteps. Oh right, sorry, Ryan. It's okay, but don't shout that loud next time, okay? I don't really enjoy it. Okay, I understand. So, you want to go to the bathroom, Nolan? Yeah, but it's locked. Want me to open it for you? Yeah. Begging me. Huh? 
Say, please let me go to the bathroom, hubby. H hubby But but we are not. It doesn't matter. You said you liked me, though, so you must like this, too. I... I do, but... Say it to me, babe. Oh my gosh, he just called me babe. And look at him. He's so hot. No wonder he's one of the school's most popular heartthrobs. If you don't, then I won't open it then. But please let me go to the bathroom, hubby. D does it sound weird? I'm not the cute type. You are dangerous as hell, Nolan. This is no good. He must be mine. There you go. Thanks, Ryan. Fifteen minutes later. Phew. What a relief. Wow, it smells so good. Is he cooking right now? Wow, I didn't know you can cook. I have a lot of things you don't know. Here, have seat. You must be hungry now, huh? Well, yeah, I'm starving as hell. I mean, all that time cooking, so you must be... Oh, are you blushing? How cute. Now enjoy your food, babe. I hope my dishes are to your liking. Oh my... How did you know I like sushi? I, um... I asked your friend. Carson? Yeah, him. Wow. You guys were talking to each other behind my back. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, bon appetit. A few minutes later. Whew, I'm stuffed. It was so good. Good to hear that, baby. You are such a good cook, Ryan. You're like good at everything. Smart. Handsome. Talented. You are just perfect, Ryan. Your parents must be proud of you. I have nothing but playing video, so my mom must be so disappointed in me. I don't live with my parents. What? Why? I'm no talents. I just learned everything to raise myself. But why? Where are your parents? They live overseas, but they left me here. Not sure why, but I've been living alone my whole life. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You must be lonely for so long, huh? I understand that feelings. We are relatable in this situation. Well, wait, you are too? Well, my mom didn't leave me all alone like your parents, but she always off for work and long trip, so I mostly live alone. What about your dad? My dad is a doctor, so he doesn't come home much. Hey, do you want to move in my house? What? Since we mostly live alone, then why don't we live together? But Ryan, we aren't couple. Then I'll make it happen. Nolan, will you be my boyfriend? What? But I don't think you like me. To be honest, I've been having a huge crush on you for so long. When? When we first met. Stupid happy people. Why the sad face? Here, a lovely ice cream will bring you joy. Thank you. It, it was you. Yeah. After all those years and you still remember me? Of course. How can I forget a beautiful angel like you? You did bring me happiness after then. That's why I told myself to find you at all cost. Why didn't you tell me when we were studying at the same school? I saw you with a new friend and you didn't remember me either. So, I couldn't just appear out of nowhere and bring back a memory that you don't even remember? My apology, Ryan. I shall examine myself critically. No need. We are finally facing each other, right? So what do you say? Want to be my boyfriend and live with me? Y yes I'd love to. By the way, don't say that you have nothing. You have a lot, but do you know what is the most precious gift you have? What is? Your pure, kind heart. Little body with a golden heart. What the? What are you doing? To the bedroom we go. Oh, wait, wait. Didn't we do that this morning? Never be enough. Where did you go yesterday, Nolan? You even skipped school too. Explain yourself. I'm sorry, mother. I was at Ryan's house, but I suddenly got sick and overslept all day long. Then why didn't you call me or Carson? Did you know we were so worried about you? His phone was out of battery, Mrs. It was my fault for not charging his phone and calling you. I was too worried about him to think about it. My apology, ma'am. <sighs> All right. Don't let it happen next time, okay, boys? 
Yes, mom. Okay, get inside. Let me cook something for you two to eat. N no need, ma'am. Don't be shy. If you are Nolan's friend, then I also see you as my son. S son But you two will also have to help me with the cooking. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ma <laughs> then what about me? <laughs> Must be him. Hey, babe. Oh, morning, baby. So, how was your sleep last night? Well, it was pretty good, cause you was in my dream. So it was a wet dream, huh? N no, not at all. Haha. <laughs> Bet. A few minutes later. Good. No one's here. I'll go first. Why can't we just go together? Blake, are you crazy? Your fangirls might see us and they will definitely attack me. We all know how crazy they are. Ugh, fine then. I'll see you later, okay? Fine. Ah, uh, I have something to tell you. You know Blake? Yeah, what about him? I heard he's dating someone right now. Oh shoot, really? He's taken? Yeah, unbelievable, right? I was so shocked when I first heard it. Well, you should betch. Oh my god, his girlfriend must be lucky to have him. I would dream to be on her shoes for one day. He's just so perfect. Not only handsome, attractive, but also rich if. He even has maid take care of him. You pretty into him, huh? Of course, who wouldn't? Wait until you know he's gay. Did he just wink at me? Didn't I tell him to stop doing sus things? Hi, love. The heck? What are you doing? What if someone see us? No one will. Don't worry. I was missing your lips a lot, babe. But, but not here. I don't care. Stop me if you can. S stop. We can kiss as much as you want when we get home, Blake. Why do you care so much about people? Cause... I don't mind letting people know about us. No, Blake, we talked about this. Fine. See you later then. Sorry for yelling at you. Meet you after school, okay? I wish I could show everyone about us. Attention please everyone. I have a good news is that we will be having a prom next week. So get yourself ready and I'll see you in the party. Now back to today's lesson. Prom, huh? Sounds fun. Who's at the door this early? Huh? A box? Who gave me this? Hey Colby, prom night is coming up so I decided to give you this outfit. I think this outfit would be perfect for you. Hope you like it. Oh, Blake. He's so sweet. He's always been so nice to me. Gosh, he does know how to make my heart beat fast AF. Huh? It's Mia. Yeah, bestie? Hi, boy. Wanna go shopping with me later? It's time to kill the freaking prom baby. We gotta need new outfit. No need to, I already have one. Wait, really? You bitch. You went shopping without me? Betrayal. Well, well, 
My mom just gave me this. Your mom, huh? Fine. But you'll have to go to the mall with me. Got it? Got it, B. So 10 a.m. as usual? Too early. Bitch, I'm starving as hell. Want me to eat you alive, stupid? Okay, okay, I'll be there at 10. Don't be late. Jesus, mother flipper. And yep, she told me to not be late, but then look at the freaking time. She's hella late. Emma burned all of her makeup after this. Hey, Colby. Explain yourself. Hey, sorry, I had a bit of trouble with the eyeliner. Sure, now let's go. <laughs> what about this? Nope, too much. How about this one? Hmm, too basic. God damn it, this? Oh, I like this one better. Yes, off to the prom I go. The next day. Wow, it does look good on me. This guy really has a good taste in fashion. Hey Mia, need a ride? I can pick you up if you want. Oh, no need to. My prom date will be the one who picked me up. Oh, okay then. Huh? Who's that? Whoa, you look so gorgeous. You are too baby. Okay, let's go, my love. Let me drive you there. Nah, you don't have to, babe. I'll go there myself. Huh? Why, though? Are you mad at me or something? Well, is it, you know, we cannot let people see us. What? You care more about what people think than we do? And no, Blake, it's not like that. I'm just afraid what if everyone hates me for dating you? Because I'm just a normal person and you, you are the most popular guy in school and everyone loves you. Here we go again. Could we simply not think about what other people think of us? Blake... I... I don't mind if people find out about our relationship. I don't freaking care. I love you so much that I don't want this relationship to be hidden in the dark. But you? You only think about yourself and never seem to care about my feelings. But... Stop making more excuses. Face the mother-flipping truth, Colby. I'm sick of it. Oh my, it's very crowded here. Hey Colby. Hey meet Ace, my prom mate. And Ace, this is my best bitch Colby. Hi Colby, nice to meet you. Oh hey, nice to meet you too. Wow girl, he looks okay. Of course, I have good taste in men too, baby. But where is your prom mate? He, he will be here soon. All right, Emma, get inside first. See you later, okay? Yeah, see you later. So lonely. I wonder where he is at the moment. I love you so much that I don't want this relationship to be hidden in the dark. I, I think he's right. Why do I have to be in hiding from people who have no idea who I am or even don't really care who I am? And I also want to shout to the world that he's mine. I need to find Blake. Wow, Blake, you look so hot today. Would you like to dance with me? No, leave me alone. You seem to be in a bad mood. What happened? Nothing. Colby? I have to go. Ah, okay. Is there anything you want to talk about? Well... I'm sorry for what happened earlier, Blake. You what? I guess you're right about facing the truth. Maybe I was a coward, afraid of what people would think of me. I'm sorry. It's okay, love. I'm glad you're finally facing the truth. Don't worry. I won't let you take all the criticism from outsiders. 
I'll protect you at all cost. But I also need you to fight alongside with me too. Yeah, I will. I promise, Blake. Once again, I'm sorry, babe. Don't be. I love you more than I can imagine. I love you too, Blake. What the? Blake has a boyfriend? Not a girlfriend, but a boyfriend. So he was gay this whole time. I will post it for all to see. It's going to explode the internet. Why are they looking at me like that? Wow, he still has the guts to show up at school. Huh? What's your problem? Don't act stupid, nerd. Have you seen this picture? Wait, how could you... Yeah, that's right, freak. I can't believe you've been seducing him all this time. No, I... I... Ha ha, scared already! What a snake you are! It's a snake. But I also need you to fight alongside with me too. Why do I have to be scared of these people? If Blake isn't afraid to show us off, then so am I. Hey, are you listening to me? I said you are a freaking snake. Yeah, got a problem? We are dating, so what? Y you he's was supposed to be mine. You don't deserve him, you know? First, are you jealous that you can't win his heart? Hey, ha, run and cry like a baby loser. Y you you want to fight, huh? Emma, get rid of you in a sec, you snake. What did you just call my baby? Uh-huh. Don't act stupid now. I heard that you called my Colby a snake. Dare to say it again. Uh, y y y you will pay for this. Yeah, run and cry like a baby loser. Oh, I just said that too. Dare to copy me. Haha, <laughs> we are the same, remember? That's why God gave you to me. Ah, oh, babe. You okay, baby? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank God. I'm so proud of you, Colby. Hehe. <laughs> for you, I shall not let them walk over me. There is nothing that can stop us from loving each other. Oh, is it? Come on. It's okay, a dude. We're in this together. Easy for you to say. You're fearless. I'm not cut out for this place, Eric. Bruh. Don't be ridiculous. Evermore's supposed to be the coolest school ever. Forbidden knowledge, mythical creatures, remember? It'll be like a giant adventure. <sighs> yeah, an adventure that could involve giant turning me into a living chew toy. Giant's a bully, that's for sure. But he can't possibly pick on everyone. Besides, you're way faster than him. You could outrun him in your sleep. Maybe, but not if he decides to fling me with a catapult. Giant's a menace. This place isn't a- We don't even know what classes we have yet. Maybe we won't even run into Giant that much. Besides, who else is going to stand up to the jerks? You know I can't just sit by and watch they torment people. All right, but we have to stick together. No more of your solo adventures that get us chased by angry security golems. Deal. But that doesn't mean we have to be boring. This whole place screams mystery. We could find some hidden passageways, uncover some ancient secrets, maybe even find some cool artifacts. Of course you would say that. Just promise me, you won't drag me into anything too dangerous. No death-defying stunts, I promise. That's not what I meant, but fine. We do this together, remember? No leaving me stranded in the forbidden catacombs or something. Relax. Ow. This will be the best year ever. We'll have so many stories to tell when we get back home. All right. Let's just hope your stories don't involve a trip to the infirmary. Welcome, young scholars, Nem, to Evermore Academy. These are the newest students, Eric, and the other one. It's Owen, 
and we're very excited to be here. Excitement is a valuable asset at Evermore. However, Mr. Giant, was it? My name is Dave, sir. Yes. Well, Dave, remember that Evermore thrives on cooperation. We have students from all walks of life, from the tallest among us to the most vertically challenged. Headmaster Cole is too kind. We Minimoy may be small, but our contributions to the Academy are no less valuable. Do you think he can brew shrinking potions? Huh? Focus, Eric. All right. You two young men seem to have a lively energy about you. It reminds me of myself at your age. Just remember, curiosity is a good thing, but recklessness can lead to trouble. We'll try to be good, Headmaster. Good is a bit dull, wouldn't you say? Strive to be extraordinary. Now, Levi will show you both to your dorms. Classes begin bright and early tomorrow. Follow me, gentlemen. Your Evermore adventure begins now. Don't worry, Owen. We'll face whatever comes our way together. Besides, who knows? Maybe those shrinking potions are real. Okay, I trust you. These are the student dorms. Bruh. First years share a room. But you'll find separate quarters for your belonging. Wow! Everything all right, young man? Don't worry about him, Mr. Levi. We can handle ourselves. I have no doubt you can't. But remember, even the most potent potions can't cure a bruised ego or a broken friendship. There's a difference between healthy competition and needless provocation. We'll try to stay out of trouble, Mr. Levi. Trouble has a way of finding curious minds, young Eric. Just remember, Sometimes, the greatest discoveries are made not by seeking conflict, but by seeking knowledge. <laughs> this will be your home for the next year. Classes begin at dawn sharp. Be sure to be well rested. See, Owen? This place is awesome. We've got a secret code with the teachers already. Secret code? Eric, that wasn't a code. It was a warning. Didn't you hear what Headmaster Cole said to Giant? He's practically royalty here. So? Just because he's big and mean doesn't mean he can boss us around. Besides, Headmaster Cole seemed all right. A little strict, maybe. But not like some evil overlord. You don't get it, Eric. Headmaster Cole is the one we have to worry about. It's Giant. He's arrogant. He's cruel. There's no one to stop him. Maybe you're right, Owen. Maybe this year won't be quite as easy as we thought. We'll face it together. After all, that's what best friends are for, right? Yeah. Good night, Eric. Night, Owen. Couldn't sleep? Not really. I keep thinking about what Levi said. About Giant and Headmaster Cole. Yeah. Maybe we overreacted a bit. Giant's a jerk, sure. But maybe he won't bother us if we just keep our heads down. But what if he does? What if Headmaster Cole really does have his back? Dude, are you ready for this truth serum experiment? This is gonna be epic. Imagine, finally getting people to confess all their secrets. Yeah, sure. Epic. But, like, what if it messes someone up? What if someone spills their deepest fear and everyone laughs? Come on, Owen. It's just a project. Besides, wouldn't it be cool to hear the truth for once? All right, class, time's up. Look who we have here. The tiniest first years Evermore has ever seen. 
Leave him alone, giant. He hasn't done anything to you. <laughs> Says the shrimp who doesn't even know his place. And who might you be? Pipsqueak number two? Dave, and I suggest you show some respect. Respect? Yes. Eh, eh, s, p, eh, c, t. Maybe you should learn the meaning of the word before you start throwing it around. <laughs> and what's this? Truth serum, huh? Maybe you should take a swig, Pipsqueak. Let's see if you can handle the truth. You think you can challenge me, shrimp? We both deserve a chance to prove ourselves here. And picking on someone smaller than you isn't exactly proving anything. Very interesting. Bruh. You, shrimp, might actually be some fun to break. Bring it on, giant. Let's see what you've got. Eric, what are you what doing? What are dog doing? Don't provoke him. Don't worry, Owen. I have a plan. Dave. My office. Now. Lucky you today! Right now. Eric, you almost got us all messed up. What the heck were you doing? Calm down, Owen. Remember what I told you about giants, Owen. What? You... you can't be serious. Of course I am. Remember that old book I found in the library last night? The one about mythical creatures? You mean the one with all those creepy illustrations? Exactly. It said giants have incredibly high urges. Apparently, they can't control them, and they love locking partner in their rooms for, well, let's just say extended playtime. Playtime? Are you out of your mind? Think about it, Owen. If we can somehow play along with Giant's little game, we can turn it around on him. Imagine him locked in his room, completely helpless while... You. You want to get locked in a room with Giant? Not just any room, Owen. His room. Imagine all the potions we could find, all the secrets we could uncover. And the potential for being squashed like a bug? Details. Details. Besides, rumor has it, Giants are incredibly fertile. The book even mentioned... Don't even finish that sentence. Eric, having a baby giant is not part of the plan. <laughs> Relax, Owen. I was just messing with you, mostly. But the basic idea is sound, right? We can exploit this weakness of his and get him to leave us alone. This whole school is a death trap, isn't it? First bullies, now mythical creature sex drives. Maybe we should have just stayed at home. Don't be such a worrywart. We'll figure something out. Besides, think of the stories we'll have to tell when we get back. We'll be legends. All right, all right. But if anything even remotely resembling a mythical creature tries to lock me in a room, I'm out of here. No giant babies for me. Thank you very much. Deal. Now, let's see how we can get Giant to spill his guts about this potion room rumor. You think you can handle me, Shrimp? Uh... More than you can handle me, apparently. Word on the street is, Giants have a weakness for the... smaller things. Huh? What? What are you babbling about, huh? Oh, you know, the rumors about giants and, well, let's just say a certain vulnerability when it comes to those of us who aren't exactly built like brick walls. This was working. He was actually flustering the school bully. There are no such rumors. Is that so? Such a shame. I was just thinking, maybe a little... Companionship is what you need. Giant. Someone to, you know, appreciate your unique... Qualities. You! You absolute madman! You actually made Giant blush! See? What did I tell you? A little creativity goes a long way. Beside, wouldn't it be hilarious if the whole school thought Giant had a soft spot for, well, you know. You're a menace, Eric. A glorious, mischievous menace. But a menace nonetheless. Just think. Owen. Soon. The entire school will be whispering about the mighty giant, secretly yearning for a... Well, let's just say a special friend. Let's go back to our dorm. Eric? Huh? Care to explain why the entire school cafeteria is currently chanting? 
There's a giant has crazy sex drive. Well, Davy boy, it seems your stealthy nighttime snack excursions aren't quite as stealthy as you think. Nighttime. Snacks? Right? Look, I can explain. You see, giants need a lot of... A lot of what, Dave? A lot of humiliation for being outed by a shrimp like me. Shrimp? You're lucky I don't squish you right now. Oh, please. You wouldn't dare. You might damage your crazy sex drive reputation. Crazy. There's nothing crazy about it. It's just... a giant appetite you wouldn't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. Especially after witnessing you practically inhale an entire cow at the farm. That was... a misunderstanding. I was just... admiring the... uh... bovine. Uh... <laughs> all right, all right. You got me. But listen, this whole crazy sex drive thing. Not cool, shrimp. Fine, fine. But on the condition you tell me what you were really doing in the headmaster's office. All right, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone. Scout's honor. We're cooking up some nasty stuff to take down that royal giant next time. <laughs> We got a newbie over here. Listen up. If you don't get your butt back to your dorm right now, I'm calling Principal Cole. I've been looking all over for you. Who are you? I'm your future husband. Oh, look, a nerd that came from the 1600s. Ugh, no wonder why they got burned. The style is so not enthetical. Hey, we're talking to you. Pardon that brat. I bet he needs to roll dices to communicate. Let's go. Mr. Wilson will get mad if we late for his chemistry class. He'll be very annoyed. See you around. Weirdo! Sorry about that. Did he just really say sorry? What's your problem? What? Do you want to fight? <laughs> Come here, you little poop head. Wow, he's really a hot head. He's really a hot head. I better not be around his sight. Hey! Watch out your way! I... I'm so sorry. <sighs> Just be careful next time. No, no, he's with Bryce. There's no way he's a good guy. Oh no, this is getting out of hand. Oh my gosh! You are so done! Do you think you can fick with me? You know who wants that. Food fight! What's going on? Ethan, where are you? There's no way I let my clothes dirty. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why you clumsy witch ass? Now Bryce won't let you alone. I, I didn't mean to. What should I do now? Ugh, just go and make sure you don't cause any more troubles. What is this feeling? Maybe Daniel isn't as bad as his friends. Am I... get into him? Ha! You are so ficked right now. I'm gonna fick you up so hard that you will come home on a wheelchair. Dude, that sounds so wrong. I... I mean, I will beat the sheesh out of him.
that a little soon for the Halloween, don't you think? And a pirate witch? What a combo. Well, what can be worst? I'm sorry, but why do you wear that eye patch? All right, you ask for it. Cheese and rice, what happened to you? Oh, nothing. Just got bumped by the failure of the parents' education. What does that mean? Oh, is this brat annoying you, Dan? Perhaps one bruised eye isn't enough, and hey, nice eye patch dork. Don't worry, Bryce. Dan can handle this little rat. Let's go to the cafeteria before they run out of pineapple pizza. Don't need to hold back on this freak. Did they do that to you? No, I punched myself. Any cool questions? I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. I still have a lot of room for my pittiness. And why do you care? You are one of them. No, I'm not. Literally, you three do everything together. I even know when you guys swung those thang in the bathroom like helicopters. Yeah, I saw that and it became a horrible core memory. Okay, okay. We did do something stupid together. But I'm not like them. I don't go around to make trouble. And I feel very bad when they bully you like that. You feel bad, huh? What can you do? I... All right. Let me know when you have the answer. Now excuse me. This pirate needs to claim his loneliness treasure in the boredom land. Ah, uh, what happened to me? Why did I talk like that to Daniel? He was so sweet and seemed to care about me. But just because he acts nice doesn't mean he likes me, yeah? Maybe I'm being Delulu. What should I do? Okay, I lost to the delusion and this might be too much, but please help me to get all the love. Where's my magic wand? Bruh. How great. Damien! I love you! Please be my boyfriend! Wait, what's going on here? Help. Somebody help. Don't worry. Damienya. I won't let anyone steal you from me. You have to be mine. Well, what? I always thought Miracle wasn't real until I saw you. Get your hands off my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Said who? He's mine. Ah, let me go. Let him go? Why do you guys have to be mean all the time? It's none of your business. Damiany is mine. Wow, it isn't that bad, right? All the hot boys want me. All right, all right. To be fair, each of you give me a reason why should I be with. I will choose the one that can convince me. People says, money can't solve your problem. But I'm rich enough to solve all your problems no matter what it is. We'll never thought about it, but can be realistic. Money is a cold thing. It doesn't have a heart. Only I can make your love bouncing. To every moves you dance on my strings. Wow, I'm impressed. Go on. How about you, Daniel? I have no idea what's happening, but I don't like it. Please come with me. We will figure it out. Oh, if that's a flirt, it's a straight F. No, seriously. Take the money. You'll love it. Choose love. It's good for your mental health. Oh my gosh, help. I'm being tore apart. Oh gosh, he's so strong. What did you do this time, Clumsy? What? I think I messed up my ritual. Wow, you actually came from the 1600s, didn't you? We need to come back to my room. All right, hang tight. Wow. He's actually a witch. Holy moly guacamole. What was that? I mean, ah. Oh. And why do you wear that creepy mask? This? Oh, it's just for the vibe. And what's this ritual? I, it's just, well, I wanted to be loved by someone. And I don't know if he loved me. So I make the ritual to make him fall for me. Damieni, that's really naughty of you. And that's why all those boys kept chasing you. Yeah. And who's that someone? You. It's you, all right. But don't worry. I will reverse the ritual and you don't have to be nice to me anymore. But it's you. Oh, okay. You don't have to say anything. 
Right after I reverse the spell, you will turn back to normal again. Back to normal? Look, I don't want to talk about it right now. Should I reverse the ritual? He's so perfect. But to force someone to love me isn't right thing to do. Ah. <sighs> Is this enough of candles? Do you need more? Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can leave now. Thank you for helping. Oh, don't mind me. I want to watch. Oh, okay. You can sit in my bed and don't touch anything. He's so gorgeous in this light. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye, my dream boy. So it's over, huh? Yeah. How can you know? I don't know. Do you feel to like me? Well, I like you. Yes, it's worked. Wait, what? What did you say? I said, I like you. Oh no, I failed again. The spell is still on you. Damien, it's not about your ritual. I already like you for a long time. It's just, I don't have a gut to say it or let you know. No, it can't be real. Are you serious? I'm dearly serious. I mean, don't you like hat, huh? I... I... Since you can do a pretty good ritual, I can do something else pretty good too. Wait, I... Save your spell. We'll have a long story to tell. Well, what am I supposed to think? You barely pay any attention to me. Do we really need to do this right now? Really, Jax? I guess we could talk in calc- Oh wait, you choose to sit by another boy instead of me? Come on, Payne. Oh, maybe we can meet up after school. I have to play basketball every day. Lunch? Basketball is my thing. You know that. What about me? You're still trying to ditch me for your friend? Hey, Penelope being crazy again? Again? Seriously, Jax? I never call you crazy. I can't do this anymore. I am not going to be manipulated. It's not unreasonable to want to communicate with your boyfriend. I didn't think she was being unreasonable at all. And part of me felt bad for making her feel that way. But I wasn't going to follow her. I didn't want to change her mind. You got your eye on someone else already? Don't tell me that was another breakup. It seems so. What happened this time? Way too needy for me. You know I'm not into that. Ugh, you're really lucky you're attractive. The way you go through girls is so uncool. What do you expect me to do? Fake it? Yeah, like you would ever fake kindness for anyone. I'm being nice to you right now, aren't I? That wasn't how I expected the night to go. But it was for the best. I can be an asshole. But unlike what they thought, I didn't date girls just to dump them. I wished more than anything that I liked them. What the hell am I even doing? I made the account months ago. But that didn't make me feel any prepared to do it. Hmm, at least I look good. Maybe if I can find someone to talk to. What the? Holy crap. I guess I'm not surprised. What a joke. In just one night, my DMs were full. Not exactly what I was looking for. Which one you got hitting you up now? The girls in our school just cringe. Good thing we graduate soon. There's a whole world out there. You got drama going on? Oh nah, just a bunch of spam messages. 
Come on, quit standing around. Let's play something. How was practice? How do you think? Your son's got mad skills, you know. I know you do, honey. You're so supportive, Mom. Oh my God, Jax. Not when you're all sweaty. Come on, you're gonna miss this one day. That day isn't today, Jax. I still can't get over you bleaching your hair. I like it. It brings out the warm sunlight in my eyes, don't you think? You're too much sometime. Hey, when are you going to have that girl you're seeing over again? Again? You mean Penelope? I think she's the last girl I brought home. We broke up like two months ago, Mom. You didn't tell me. You okay? She seems so sweet. I'm fine. Things will work out for you someday. It's no big deal, really. I think I'm going to hold back dating for a while. Oh, that's ridiculous. You're too lovable. Where did you get that impression? What's going on here? Oh, just reminding your little brother how great he is. Why? He's going through a breakup. Mom, I'm fine. You and Penelope broke up? Yeah. Great, good beginning. For what? Focus on your studying. <laughs> Stupid brother. Who does he think he is? It's waste of time. Fifteen more messages? I'm bound to find someone on here to chat with. I couldn't blame them. But I was totally uninterested in their type of flirting. Hey there. Your mysterious photos caught my attention. I clicked on your page hoping to learn more about you, but it seems that you're keeping that to yourself. Tell me about you. Hmm. His profile didn't have much more than mine, but I guess he seems all right. Remind me of my buddies a little bit, and I wasn't sure if that was good or bad. What do you want to know? Well, why the mystery? You like challenging a guy's imagination? No mystery. Just like my privacy. Haha, <laughs> well I'm looking forward to getting you to open up. I promise I'm worth it. The fact that he reminded me of my friends was not a good thing, and I tried hard not to pictures Camel or one of my teammate messaging this. If I had a type, it wasn't them. I'm 19, got a great paying job part-time and don't come with any drama. What do you think of that? Wow, what a catch. Too bad I'm not looking for someone to take care of me. Don't be so sure. Just because you think you're an alpha doesn't mean you won't like having someone take care of you. I'll change your mind real quick. I'll pass. You know you're lucky a guy like me even messages you when you don't have a real photo. You're either fake or ugly as she t. That hurt my feeling. One hour later. What a loser. And another waste of time. Hey, you think I'm an alpha? In this house? No, that's me. You think so, do you? We can go right now if you want. I'll kick your A's. I don't want to embarrass you, bro. You two stop it right now. It's late. The next day. I guess it wasn't anything new. And instead of making friend, the app become more like a game. They really thought they were going to pick me up. Great practice. I'll see you tomorrow. You should get rid of the shirtless pic. Why's that? From the look of your profile, you're fed up with pervs. That pic is a perv magnet. Oh yeah? Did it attract you? As the day passed, I was losing hope. And I was starting to worry whether I was into anyone at all. Look like you took my advice. Huh? Introvert? Meh. You're back, so it must not have made a difference. Guess I scared him away again. Come on, move out of the way. I'm in a hurry. I'll make him a breakfast. You get to work. I don't know what would I do without you. 
I said I don't want you hiring some nanny, and I mean it. I appreciate that. Jax, get the orange juice from the fridge. I don't talk to people based on their photos. He isn't giving up. Jax, did you hear me? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah? You actually found some good personalities on here? Send them over. No. Oh, come on, don't be greedy. I mean, I haven't talked to anyone, really. You're no help. I probably won't stay on here much longer. What's the matter? Didn't find what you were looking for? I'm moving to X school next week, and since I don't know anyone there... Ha ha. I wonder why. I can imagine all the dudes offering to show you around. Show me around their bedrooms, maybe? I never thought I will talk to somebody any longer, since Teddy never messaged me back. Not that I cared. Help! With what? I need you to go on a group date with me. You can't say no. Ugh. Bring one of other guys. They're all dating or into someone. You're the only one who's free. Come on! How are you ever going to find a nice girl when you all do is sit home with your mum every night? I've got a daughter to take care of. I told you I will watch her. Come on, you know dating is hard when you're an adult. Where am I going to find someone? The bar? How about dating sites? Oh yeah, he'll just write down that he's 22. Single dad living with my mom and his little brother. I'm sure he'll get tons of hits. Women love a man who gets along well with his family. I think you should give up, Mom. See you guys later. Where are you going? A date? Was there anyone I'd go after? Is this your type? He choose to reply now? Open picture messages. If this is an unsolicited pic, like the one I got from some random guy, I'm blocking you. Haha, <laughs> definitely not. Just open it. Is that what he's into? What do you think? Attractive. But the suits remind me too much of my dad. OMG. No daddies for Jax. I should have known. Why are you thinking about my type? You got me curious the other day. Curious? You thinking about me? Shut up. So you think you earned another date? Dang, Jax. I thought you were going to get busted. If your date knew you were texting some other chick during our date, she would have been so pissed. And my girlfriend would have blamed me. Calm down. I didn't get caught. Hmm, not bad. Did you have any? Yeah, right. Lol. Did you have fun with your friend? It was alright, just some stupid group date. Oh, I see. What are you up to? I've just been packing. Do you continue going out with girls because it makes you normal? That's not fair to them. Normal? What the hell does he know? He thinks he can message me a few times and suddenly understand who am I. That really struck a nerve. Who say I don't feel normal? This is your locket. And watch out for some guys over there. They're so full of themselves. I've got a feeling this school's full of that type. You aren't wrong there. I'll show you to your first class. A few inches later. Hi, everyone. This is our new student, Teddy. Teddy? It was him. That kid from the app. A real person, not just some photo on a screen. I swear he mentioned going to some public school. What do I do? Thank God I didn't put my real name or pictures. He seems doesn't know who I am. Hey man, let's shoot some hoops. Uh, actually... Jeez.
All right, Eugene. New school, new start. Blend in. Nobody notices the quiet kid. Ah! Ouch! Heads up, new kid. Don't want to ruin your first day, right? Dude, that wasn't cool. Hi, new kid. Oh, relax. Just kidding. Welcome to Berry High. Maybe blending in isn't such a great idea. Whoa, easy there. I'm master in technology. This boy is so annoying. Who asked, huh? Luke Vance, heir to Vance Technologies. You know, those fancy new gadgets everyone's obsessed with? And that guy over there is heart stolen. But honesty, dude, Seth can be a bit much. Yo, Luke, you coming to practice? Gotta make sure the new kid doesn't get too close to you before the Friday's game. Don't worry, he's just messing with you. Wow, what a mismatched pair. How are those two even friends? Yo, Eugene, need a lift? Luke B's feeling generous today. You sure you want to get the nerd in car? Come on, man. Give him a break. Uh, thanks, but I don't want to be any trouble. No trouble at all. My name's Luke, by the way. I already known. Just make sure you don't forget us. This charmer here is Seth. As in, heart stolen Seth? The one and only. Though getting called heart stolen by a bunch of freshmen gets a little old. But you love it, mate. Every girl falls at your feet after five minutes of conversation. Just a natural talent, I guess. So, you guys are friends? More like brothers from another mother. Now, are you getting in or what? This is a waste of time. We've got places to be. So, Eugene, what brings you to Berry High? My parents got divorced. Ouch, dude. Sorry to hear that. Wait a minute. Is that... Vance Technology? My family owns it. Luke, nobody cares about your daddy's company. Why are we stopping? Welcome to the Berry High After Hours Club. Wait, a bar? I... I can't go in there. I'm not even 18. Relax, Eugene. Nobody cares about IDs here. It's the after-school hangout for Berry High's elite. You in or out? Actually, I think I'll just head home. Thanks for the ride, though. Oh, come on, Eugene. Don't be such a scaredy cat. We were just starting to have some fun. Leave him alone, Seth. He clearly doesn't want to come in. What's the matter, Luke? Afraid your little science project model can't handle the real world? Science project model? Look, Eugene. If you don't want to be here, go home. I will drive you home. Suit yourself, loser. More fun for the rest of us. You all right, Eugene? Uh, yeah. Just a lot to take in. New school, new people. It can be rough. Listen, about Seth. Don't take him personally. He just pretend to be cool. He's got a certain way of making friends. Doesn't seem like much of a friend to me. Yeah, he's kind of immature. You seem different from him. Different how? Well, you're not trying to be cool all the time. And you actually care. Maybe. Oh no, it's my dad. I'm in trouble. Don't worry, Eugene. I got this. Evening, sir. Eugene here was just helping me out with some homework. Lost track of time, you know how is it? 
Homework? At this hour? And who are you, young man? Luke Vance. My dad owns Vance Technology. Vance Technology. All right, Eugene, get inside. And next time, keep me informed of your late night study. Yes, Dad. Anytime, Mr. Max. Good night. Great. Just great. Eugene, can I come in? Look, about what your mom said. Don't. Let's just not. Eugene, I know this is hard. But things just weren't working out with your mom, okay? You just gave up on us. It wasn't that simple, Eugene. How could it be anything else? You and mom were always fighting. Listen, I just want what's best for you. You deserve a good life. The kind of life I couldn't give you. That's not what I want. I want a family. I'm trying, Eugene. It's tough out there. Trying isn't enough. You have a chance now, don't you? And what did you do? Like sucking up to Luke Vance because his daddy owns half the city? He's your classmate, Eugene. Show some respect. And listen, Luke's a good kid. He comes from a good family. A good family? You mean they're loaded? Eugene, you're a smart kid with a bright future. Being friends with someone like Luke could open doors for you. That's it? That's all this is about? You disgust me. Don't ever talk to me about Luke Vance again. And don't you ever talk to me about giving me a good life. You have no idea what that means. A few minutes later. Where are you going? To mom's. Wait, Eugene, I, I'm sorry. Maybe someday you'll figure out what that means. Eugene, honey, come in, come in. What brings you here? Hey, can I, can I stay here? Stay here? Sweetie, what's going on? Things aren't good at Dad. We fought again, and... Honey, I know things have been tough, but you know this isn't the best time for you to be here. With the baby coming and all. So, you just don't want me anymore? Because of some new baby? Of course I want you. But this is a small apartment and the baby needs its own room. Forget it. I get it. You have your new life now. Damn, what the heck? Whoa. Eugene? What's the rush, crybaby? Having a rough night? Leave me alone, Seth. Aw, oh, come on. Maybe I can offer some manly advice. I said, leave me alone. No way I let you go after you make a crash on my car. Now come on, what's the drama? It's nothing. It's none of your business. Did little mommy dearest find herself a new Prince Charming and forget all about her inconvenient little mistake? Just leave me alone, you jerk. Shit. Hey, crying baby, get up. Why are you so annoying? Get up. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hey, Eugene, you okay? You look a little pale. Just a bit tired, that's all. Is everything okay at home? Thanks, Luke. I appreciate it. Things are just complicated right now. Dude, you look tired too. What happened? I found Eugene passed out on the sidewalk last night and took him home. You... you took me home? Hold on, I took him home. What the fuck, man? You don't remember? No. I saw Eugene passed out first. In fact, I was the one who took him home. Yeah, right, Seth. Like you'd actually help someone unless there was something in it for you. Dude, I'm not lying. I saw him, okay? Helped him up even. Eugene, am I right? I don't know. I don't remember anything. Eugene? You're back? I thought you were at your mom's. Mom wouldn't let me stay. Look, I... I told you. Things are a little tight right now. I just want to apologize for what I said earlier. You were right. Hey, it's okay. We both said some things we didn't mean. How about I order some pizza for dinner? Yeah, pizza sounds good. Pepperoni? Extra cheese? Yes, Dad. 
10,000 bucks? You're serious? Absolutely. Winner takes all, loser coughs up half. Deal? Why are we even talking about this? Eugene's a good guy. <laughs> a little lost right now, maybe, but good. So the purpose is making Eugene felt in love with one of us? Yeah. And let's face it, who wouldn't want to be friends with Luke Vance? Especially the one who saved him from passing out. That was you? I thought for sure I was the hero in that story. Eugene seems to have conveniently forgotten all about it. But hey, that just works in my favor. All right, you got me interested. But 10,000 is a lot to ride on a new boring kid. What's your plan? Simple. We befriend him. We shower him with kindness, attention. Whoever Eugene seems to click with more by the end of the week wins. But you better watch out, Vance. Eugene might surprise you. Hi, early bird. What are you doing here? I just passing by. Why do you two look so sneaky? Nothing. We just talk about soccer. Let's do it, Seth. Can, Can I, I take, take you, you on, on a date? date? Huh?